you're watching South Asia Newsland and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 9th of February. War of words in Indian Parliament over white paper on Indian economy. POK residents upset over depreciating natural resources, severe water shortage. And Indian father-daughter scuba diving duo collect trash from sea. And now for all the details, introducing the white paper on the Indian economy, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman on Friday lashed out at Congress-led UPA and said decision-making came to a standstill during their 10 years of governance due to corruption and scandals. Speaking in the lower house, Sitharaman accused the Manmohan Singh-led UPA government of economic mismanagement during the global financial crisis and said whatever should have been done to protect India's interests was not done. When you put your first family first and when you have other consideration, then the results are there for you to see, she added. Disapproving the government's white paper, opposition Congress lawmaker Manish Tiwari challenged to list at least five achievements in the last ten years. The intention behind this white paper is only political. This is a political manifesto, not a white paper, he added. The 60-page document was stabled in the parliament on Thursday. It accuses during the term of Manmohan Singh-led UPA government controversies such as 2G spectrum, coal gate scam and the Commonwealth Games scam reflected poorly on India's image as an investment destination. And heightened security measures were in place in Haldwani city of India's Uttarakhand after violence broke out on Thursday evening following an anti-encroachment drive. According to government authorities, following the directives from the High Court, Demolition drive is being conducted against a structure in the area, during which stones were pelted on Municipal Corporation's team. It was planned that the demolition drive will be conducted by the forces, Nenital District Magistrate claimed, adding that mob's action was an effort to challenge the state machinery. Peacefully demolition drive prevention ke liye force lagai gai, atikraman ki karvai ke liye jitni force required hoti hai, वो लगाई गई लेकिन कुछ अराजक तत्वों के द्वारा अनप्रबोध अनहार्म्ड अनटच तरीके से पूरी कार्रवाई होने के बाद भी बड़ी मात्रा में विद इन हाफ एन आवर इकट्ठा होकर जो है हमारी जो टीमें हैं नगर निगम की उन पर पहला अटैक किया गया पत्थरों के माध्यम से पत्थर बरसाने शुरू करे गए चारों तरफ जो छते हैं उनके माध्यम से मैंने आपको तीस तारीख की फुटेज दिखाई किसी छत पर कोई पत्थर नहीं था तो जिस दौरान ये सारी विधिक प्रक्रिया चल रही थी जब हम सुनवाई कर रहे थे माननीय उच्च न्यायालय सुनवाई कर रहा था तो छतों पर पत्थर उस दौरान इकट्ठे करे गए इसका मतलब इट वॉज प्लैंड कि जिस दिन भी डिमोलिशन ड्राइव होगी हम उस दिन इस तरह से फोर्सेस को अटैक करेंगे इस तरह से डिमोरलाइज करने की कोशिश करेंगे स्टेट मशीनरी को तो पत्थरों का अटैक हुआ The violence resulted in the death of at least two people, while around 80 others, including government officials and journalists, were reportedly injured. Amid the volatile situation, shoot at sight orders were issued and internet was shut down till the last reports came in. Uttarakhand CM Pushkar Singh Dhami has urged people to maintain peace and has warned government would take the strictest action against writers and miscreants. <laughs> कुछ अराजक तत्वों के द्वारा पुलिस के साथ झड़प हुई है पुलिस के साथ संघर्ष हुआ है वहाँ पर और कुछ पुलिस के लोगों को प्रशासन के लोगों को चोटें आई हैं वहाँ पर अभी तत्काल अन्य कंपनियाँ पुलिस की और केंद्रीय बलों की भेजी जा रही है सभी से शांति बनाने का हमने अपील की है कर्फ्यू लगा दिया गया है और जो भी इसमें दंगाई होंगे जो भी इस प्रकार का अतिक्रमणकारी होंगे जिन्होंने आगजनी की है उनके खिलाफ कठोर कार्रवाई की जाएगी एंड पाकिस्तानी वोक अप विद एन एयर ऑफ अनसर्टेनिटी ऑन फ्राइडे अ डे आफ्टर नेशनल इलेक्शन स्टिल अन अवेयर इफ दे वुड हैव एन इंडिपेंडेंट लेड पार्लियामेंट और वन लेड बाय पोलिटिकल डायनेस्टी वाइल देर वॉज नो क्लियर मेजोरिटी ट्रेंड्स शोड पीटीआई एफिलियेटेड इंडिपेंडेंट कैंडिडेट्स इन द लीड 
followed by PMLN and PPP in tight race till the last reports came in. More than 24 hours since the closure of the polls in Pakistan, the results trickled in with much delay, creating a pall of uncertainty and tension among the citizens on Friday. Independent candidates, most of whom were backed by jailed former Prime Minister Imran Khan, won 49 out of 106 parliamentary seats till the last reports came in. However, PMLN party supremo Nawaz Sharif won 42 seats and claimed that his party was in contact with independent candidates. Pakistan People's Party of Bilawal Bhutto Zardari got 34 seats. We are doing the results, so we are going to make a decision. We are looking at which parties are winning and how many parties are winning. Everyone is telling the results. Now, what is changing and 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 changing. We hope that the people who have given the vote have given the vote that we will not come from the hand. One person has given the vote, but they have given the vote that they will give 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 the vote. The main electoral battle is expected to be between candidates backed by Khan and Sharif. Khan believes the powerful military is behind a crackdown to hound his party out of existence, while analysts and opponents say Sharif is being backed by military generals. Poll experts predicted there may be no clear winner, adding to the woes of a country struggling to recover from an economic crisis while it grapples with rising militant violence in a deeply polarized political environment. Moving on, people in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have been facing severe environmental hazards due to exploitation of natural resources with depleting water reserves and forest fires becoming common. They decry an inaction by the authorities. A report. Residents of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have raised concern over deforestation and inaction to stop raging forest fires that is leading to environmental degradation, including depleting water resources. Locals have long blamed that Pakistan pays little attention to their pressing problems while it exploits natural resources in the region. With a decrease in rainfall and drying up rivers and streams, people in many areas are forced to transport water from scarce sources. Bangladesh Foreign Minister Hassan Mehmood during his last leg of visit in India met Union Minister of Commerce and Industry Piyush Goel on Friday and requested India's support in ensuring supply of essential commodities. In a post on X, Bangladesh Foreign Minister emphasized on improving trade and commerce relation with India. Uh, our meeting was very good. Uh, I have discussed about the perishable items that we import from India. I have requested him because we want to import 50,000 metric ton of onion and 100,000 metric, 100, metric ton of sugar before Ramazan. During talks with his counterpart on Thursday, Hassan thanked India for standing by it despite many ploys to undermine the recently held national elections in his country and backed New Delhi's decision to fence its border with Myanmar ending the free movement regime. Moving on, scuba diver Arvind Tharunsari and his 10-year-old daughter Tara have been riding the wave of change by collecting discarded plastic and other waste from underwater in a drive to clean the ocean. Diving since Tara turned five, the duo from Chennai started a movement which has been joined in by local fishermen and children and has increased awareness about the impact of plastic waste entering the aquatic ecosystem. The amount of plastics 
what we dumped in the ocean is unbelievable. So I don't think so it will happen very soon. It's a very long process. So that is the reason I'm engaging my daughter, focusing on next generation to understand how important is the environmental, uh, saving the environmental and saving the marine life. So people have to be more aware uh, and avoid throwing plastics and uh, save our earth and environment. According to the UN, plastic waste is at epidemic proportion in the world's oceans with an estimated 100 million tons dumped there. Scientists have found large amounts of microplastic in the intestines of deep-dwelling ocean mammals like whales. Braving biting cold, thousands of devotees on Friday thronged Sangam, the confluence of holy rivers Ganga, Yamuna and the mythical Saraswati, in India's Prayagraj city to take a holy dip and offer prayers on Moni Amavasya or No Moon Night. It is considered an auspicious day when sun and moon enter Capricorn sign according to the Hindu calendar. People performed rituals for salvation of their ancestors and gave donations to priests or the needy to earn merit. इस स्नान के सदियों से चलती परंपरा को देखते हुए मौन रखकर स्नान करने से इसका प्रतिफल जो है काफी अच्छा मिलता है यहां आकर हमको बहुत अच्छा लगा संगम नगरी पे स्नान करके हमको काफी अच्छी अनुभूति की प्राप्त हो रही है मौनी अमावस्या इज राइव फ्रॉम द वर्ड मुनि दैट लिटरली मींस एन एसेटिक हु प्रैक्टिसेस साइलेंस इट इज बिलीव दैट द वाटर ऑफ गंगा रिवर टर्न्स इनटू नेक्टर ऑन दिस डे That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night.